Hi, my name's Ali and I'm one of the French subject prefects at Newstead and we're just going to talk to you a little bit about why we chose to study French at A-level, what the course is like, um, what a typical week or kind of like lesson at Newstead is like and what to expect in terms of the jump from GCSE to A-level. So in terms of why I personally decided to study at French at A-level, I think that there was kind of like a combination of factors. So firstly, I wanted to like develop my fluency in the language and learn more about the grammar and that sort of thing because I found it really interesting. But also I wanted to learn more about the actual culture of France and other French speaking countries and because that is so diverse in and of itself. Um, but also sort of current affairs and the politics of the country, that sort of thing. And Throughout year 12 and year 13, you're not only encouraged to read around it, like read around your subject in terms of like kind of French news and stuff, but also the units you do are so relevant and everything. So I thought that that would be um, quite an interesting thing to continue to learn about. And also you get to study film, which for me and like if you've gone to school where you haven't been able to study media before, you might not have had the opportunity to study film before. So I thought it would be interesting to get the chance to do that. And of course, you also get to study literature, um, which is really interesting to see that in another language and sort of how that differs from the English literature that you've studied at GCSE. And it also, French and other language A-levels, links really well with other subjects, whether that be English because of the literature, politics because of the current affairs. So in both year 12 and year 13, you study six topics, so that's 12 topics in total. And these cover a range of topics going from the cinema to French music to uh, the immigration policies in France, the prison system. And it covers such a wide range of issues that you can really focus in on um, the sort of topics that you find the most interesting. And it really gives you a taste of the kind of diversity that exists within French culture. And in year 12, you study the film. Um, so you will either study Lain or Au revoir les enfants. Um, which basically Lion is a film which looks at police brutality um, against people who live in the kind of poor areas of Paris, um, which is obviously especially relevant now given um, the recent Black Lives Matter protests and it's very interesting to see the French perspective on this issue. Or you may study Au revoir les enfants, which is a film which looks at um, kind of like France and World War II and is again quite an important um, film to see that kind of situation um, from the French perspective. Um, and then in year 13, you get to study a book. And again, there's a few different ones that you may end up studying. Um, but it's all really interesting because it gives you a glimpse into that kind of time period through the French lens, um, which is something that you might not have had much of a kind of opportunity to do before. And it's just, it's really cool to be able to read a book in the French language and sort of understand it and um, analyse the characters in French and everything. Um, and you get to kind of write essays in that language as well, which is quite interesting. Um, you also, in year 13, have your independent research project, which sounds more daunting than it is, and it basically contributes to your oral exam. Um, so you get to pick a question relating to whether it be a French book, a French film, um, maybe a question about the politics or the policies on a certain issue in a certain French-speaking country, um, a certain thing in history, anything like that is kind of like the world is your oyster. And that's why I think it's so good about the kind of diversity within the um, this 12 units that you do, you get to kind of find what piques your interest and then foster that interest and kind of follow it um, when you do your IRP in year 13. So yeah, so that's kind of a summary of the course that you would be tackling in. In year 12, you have four lessons a week and at year th in year 13 at A level, you have five lessons a week. The lessons are much like GCSE in going through the units um, using the textbook, although the film literature lessons are different for example when you study the film in year 12 you go through key scenes and how these are relevant to characters themes all that kind of stuff and in year 13 when you study the book like we are doing at the moment use the lessons to well we're currently going through uh the first few chapters and talking about characters and their personalities and stuff like that you get roughly two hours of homework a week per teacher. This will usually be exercises in the textbook if you're studying a unit at the time and maybe uh, caboodle interactive exercises online. Although if you're doing the film and the book, then the homework is more likely to be an essay or maybe questions from the Hodder study guide that are reviewing a section of the book or film that you studied in class. There's also a 30 minute speaking session with Vanessa a week and uh, this will be in a free or a study depending on when you have time and what fits in with the schedule and you will do a card a week generally 
that you'll be given in a session you then prepare during the week and speak through the card in your next session and the card will usually be from the unit that you're studying at the time. The jump between GCSE and A-level. While the jump between GCSE and A-level French may seem big at first, you settle into it very quickly and realise you really know way more than you actually think and the workload is definitely manageable. First off, at NUSA we know that the GCSE teaching approach depending on each school that we all came from may be a little different, but please don't worry, I think this will put you at a disadvantage, but it's definitely not true. Especially at the start of the year, we revise grammar points like the different tenses or direct object pronouns and then gradually build into learning new ones like the passive. This ensures that we have a good foundation to build upon as we go through the A-level course. We also learn on more uses of the tenses depending on different time connectives, etc. and also any exceptions or irregulars. This regular revision which occurs throughout both year 12 and 13 makes us really confident in them and easily finding links across the tenses which makes learning them much easier. Another key difference is the content. It is no longer just the units from the textbook but also writing essays on a film and a book. The thought of writing essays in French when some of us struggle even in English may seem daunting. We get loads of support about structure, redrafting it if needs be and soon enough it becomes very natural for us and remember it's a lot shorter than any essays we have had to write for English at GCSE, so it's definitely not something to worry about, and focus always on accuracy rather than length. As well, a highlight of studying French at New said is that teaching isn't just based off the textbook, but our teachers make and encourage us to be aware of current affairs and make links with these, especially in our Year 13 units on immigration, crime or cultural diversity. These very relevant issues make French all the more exciting to learn, understanding concepts and events we may not even discuss in English from a French point of view and comparing these to our knowledge, limited knowledge, even if it, that may be, to the English. This forms the foundation of our speaking exams based off our broader knowledge of topics, making fact files for each unit so we know lots of statistics and facts as well. Moreover, while in GCSE your class may have been larger at, say, 30 to 1, at A-level the class size is much smaller so you get much more individual one-to-one -one support almost like university-style seminars, therefore being a great way to prepare for university study too. These small groups also help us feel much more at ease and comfortable to ask when we are stuck, helped by our amazing French teachers at A-level, Mrs Casey and Mrs Ballister, who are very approachable and always willing to take the time, even outside of class, to go through anything we're stuck on, whether it's essay plans or giving, us, or giving us guidance of where to find more resources to revise a certain grammar point, or suggest extra reading or films on topics we study, like heritage or music or even related to material to our studies of our chosen film and literature at A-level. This flexibility of the classes, with constant input from us about which areas we would like to enforce, or which film or book interests us the most to study, makes news of language learning and teaching stand out. It's tailored to meet our needs, and French does not just end at the weekly lessons, but outside them too. And our teachers are very happy to recommend wider cultural exploration too, about whatever interests us. For example, I'm interested in the Enlightenment period and French philosophy, and they always have great recommendations of books or sources to look at, not to mention the excellent collection of library books for MFL. This is supported further by our weekly half an hour one-to-one -one sessions with Vanessa. We're very lucky to have a French language assistant, so unlike at GCSE where some of us may have had shared short French speaking sessions, at A-level these happen on a weekly basis individually to really strengthen our speaking skills, both for practising the cards which were part of our A-level exam, but also to focus on our pronunciation and cultural knowledge too. Practice as a native speaker helps us learn more about the culture and idiomatic expressions, like avoir de penser la planche, no longer just learning French with the aim of passing the exam, but appreciating it as a language and sounding more natural, gaining fluency too. While in GCSE for the speaking exam, many of us may have just learnt scripted answers, at A-level you are encouraged to make notes and expand on them, having a far less dictated approach, instead it's more free and natural, once again contributing to our fluency, and maybe applicable one day when we go to France after lockdown, corona is over, to order a meal, for example, and the satisfaction you gain when we have ordered entirely in French is second to none. Lastly, there's the common misconception that the workload at A-level is huge and hard to manage, but this is not true. If you keep up your vocab learning through, on a regular basis through apps like Anki, Quizlet or Memrise and grammar revision, doing the subsequent homework or exercises or writing essays becomes much easier, as it's just applying what we know to different situations. With essays, especially by planning them immediately or just jotting brief notes soon after they've been set following the lesson. This makes the process when you actually start writing out much easier and less stressful, as you already have some ideas, and thus this takes you far less time. On a general note, I'd really recommend keeping up to date with current affairs, as it always adds that 
adds that extra nuance in your answers and your knowledge in general. Very applicable for writing about context in essays or linking the past to the present and also regular revision, helping you manage the jump between GCSE and A-level. With the new set teaching and style of learning that is a lot more open extends beyond the A-level syllabus, focusing on becoming more natural and on cultural exploration, regardless of the workload or moments of stress, it definitely feels worth it. There's lots of moments of humour, of laughter with each of your classmates, and none of it feels like a chore, and you really end up enjoying it. And now um, we've just got a testimony from a graduate who studied MFL at university and sort of what she feels she gained from that. So hopefully this is giving you guys a bit of an idea of what to expect from French A-Level and you'll consider doing it. Thank you for watching.